Many of Filmland's biggest and brightest names gather at a cinema in London's Leicester Square, lovely Kay Kendall among them, for Coronation Year's royal film performance. With his wife is rugged Jack Hawkins. A famous Hollywood visitor is Gary Cooper. And even if he's changed his cowboy clothes for evening dress, the same shy smile of dozens of films is still there. Escorting his wife is Richard Todd. He's one of the stars of the royal film, so is diminutive Glynis Johns. Now comes the moment for which the crowds have waited many hours. The royal party is welcomed by Reginald Bromhead and other film chiefs who have organized the show which is in aid of the Cinematograph Trade Benevolent Fund. Stars and film executives line up for presentation to Her Majesty. Adolf Zuko, one of Hollywood's most distinguished pioneers, watches the Queen greet George Cole, the young British comedian, and now Gary Cooper. Her Majesty moves on to speak to Jean Crane, just back in Britain after filming in Africa. Alec Guinness, perhaps the most versatile of British stars, is presented to the Queen, who now moves on for a word with Jack Hawkins. James Robertson Justice is resplendent in full Highland dress for this royal occasion. Now, Kay Kendall. The Queen has a special word with Richard Todd about the film she is soon to see. But first she receives a bouquet from the seven-year-old David Douglas Morris. Nine-year-old star Mandy Miller has a smile for Her Majesty as, radiant in a gown of lavender organza, Filmland's most honoured guest enters the auditorium for the royal film performance.